What do you say to someone who says we've been genetically manipulating plants for thousands of years through hybridization? I've got a friend who doesn't think it's a big deal. What's the difference? We've been genetically engineering plants for thousands of years. This is a mythology, one of the five or six most popular ones. In fact, you can just turn it on TV, it used to be, and you can get this kind of thing. Um, the FDA's own scientists said it was different and could lead to different risks and described them as allergies, toxins, new diseases, antibiotic, re antibiotic resistant diseases, and nutritional problems. Nobel laureates agreed that we're creating new organisms that were not part of the billions of years of evolution in a single stroke. And uh, it's fundamentally different. Even someone that created the Calgene tomato, who wrote a book about it, said to me, and we know it's not an extension of natural breeding. She rolled her eyes as she parodied what has become a PR standard. So just those references alone should be able to at least raise the doubt. But again, you're, you're, you're um, going against a $50 million a year marketing campaign. And they spent $142 million in 2001 lobbying Washington, DC. And many of the people in Washington were former or future biotech executives. Dan Glickman, former Secretary of Agriculture under the Clinton administration, a big biotech cheerleader, traveled around Europe saying you must eat genetically modified soybeans. He admitted before stepping down from office, he said, what I saw generically from the pro-biotech side was the technology was good and that it was almost immoral to say that it wasn't good because it was going to solve the problems of the human race and feed the hungry and clothe the naked. And if you're against it, you're Luddites, you're stupid. And that, frankly, was the side our government was on. He said you felt like you were almost disloyal and alien by trying to present an open-minded view. So this is what we are up against, a very successful marketing campaign, which can be pierced with information and facts.